Vulnerabilities are everywhere and often they are exploited. There are organizations who are struggling to define and secure an expanding cyber attack surface, hampering risk management efforts. A study revealed that three quarters, that is 73% of global organizations are worried about their growing attack surface. Over a third or 37% said it is constantly evolving and messy with only 51% able to fully define its extent. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. An attack surface is essentially the entire external facing area of your system. The model contains all of the attack vectors or vulnerabilities a hacker could use to gain access to your system and attack vectors are the landmarks on an attack surface. Each one represents vulnerabilities such as access points, protocols and services. Whereas the digital attack surface area encompasses all the hardware and software that connect to an organization's network. These include applications, code, ports, servers and websites, as well as shadow IT, which sees users bypass IT to use unauthorized applications or devices. Essentially, there are three main types of attack surfaces, digital attack surface, physical attack surface and social engineering attack surface. The Trend Micro report states that over two-fifths or 43% of respondents went further, admitting the digital attack surface is spiraling out of control. Visibility challenges appear to be the main reason organizations are struggling to manage and understand cyber risk in these environments. Almost two-thirds, that is 62%, said they have blind spots that hamper security, with cloud environments cited as the most opaque. On average, respondents estimated having just 62% visibility of their attack surface. These challenges are multiplied in global organizations. Two-thirds or 65% of respondents claim that being an international enterprise that spans multiple jurisdictions makes managing the attack surface harder. IT modernization over the past two years was a necessary response to the ravages of the pandemic, but in many cases, it unwittingly expanded the digital attack surface, giving threat actors more opportunities to compromise key assets. Going forward, a unified platform-based approach is the best way to minimize visibility gaps enhance risk assessments and improve protection across these complex distributed IT environments. The study also revealed that 54% of global organizations don't believe their method of assessing risk exposure is sophisticated enough. Now, let us look into today's headlines in VAR India. Media must do honest journalism, says CGI Ramana. Chief Justice of India N. V. Ramana said that the media must confine itself to honest journalism and not use it as a tool to expand its influence and business interests. Ramana said a media house with other business interests becomes vulnerable to external pressures and often business interests overcome the spirit of independent journalism, compromising democracy. CGI Ramana also said there was no systemic support for journalists in the country and neither was there an award which was comparable to the Pulitzer or many Pulitzer winning journalists. Shopify to lay off 10% of workforce Canada's Shopify INC is laying off 10% of its workforce as it struggles with sales growth due to a post-pandemic slowdown in online shopping. The company is carrying out the cuts because the COVID-19 pandemic created a surge in demand for Shopify's software as consumers shifted to making a higher number of purchases online. Shopify will also eliminate over-specialized and duplicate roles as well as groups that were convenient to have but too far removed from building products. It is reported that about 1,000 workers will get affected. Exterior's valuation exceeds $1 billion in new round of funding. Portland US headquartered software provider for legal governance, risk and compliance Extero has announced raising an undisclosed amount of equity capital as part of a continuation vehicle transaction, taking its valuation to over $1 billion. The company will utilize the capital to grow its GRC portfolio through mergers and acquisitions and product development. It will also develop new initiatives for law firms and service providers and grow its product for digital forensics and target global expansion. Europol offers free tools to protect encrypted files against ransomware. Europol is giving over 100 free decryption tools to assist release hostage files from cyber criminals in order to protect organizations and individuals from the ever-increasing menace of ransomware. 
The No More Ransom portal currently offers 136 free tools for 165 ransomware variants, including Reveal, Maze, and others. No More Ransom provides keys for unlocking encrypted files as well as tips for avoiding infection in the first place. Comscope enters Wi-Fi 6E retail market. Comscope is entering the retail Wi-Fi 6E market by offering new Eris Surfboard Thruster Gaming Acceleration Kit and Eris Surfboard Wi-Fi 6E Network Upgrade Adapter, enabling customers to upgrade their network quickly and easily without replacing any of their existing equipment. The Eris Surfboard Thruster is designed specifically for gamers who require high performance from their home network and don't want to upgrade their entire existing Wi-Fi network. The Aris of Ports Wi-Fi 6E Network Upgrade Kit is designed for the digitally connected consumer who demands a Wi-Fi network that can keep up with their smart home. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.